All right, everybody, what is going on? Need more drums back in our city of Stay Movensburg for part two of our ferry episode slash we're going to build an, uh, an island with only ferry access and uh, preferably pretty much car free. Uh, you know, something that, that I've seen some other people do and um, I thought I might as well give it a shot because I've never really done anything like it before. So as you could probably guess, this giant plot of land down here is where we're going to do it. Uh, I kind of rounded out the edges a little bit. Uh, if you remember from, you know, you've seen it in prior videos, it doesn't, didn't look quite like this, but you know, pretty much the same. Uh, this, this land was here when, um, you know, when, like it's a, a original part of the map. So I didn't actually add this in or anything. And that's why, you know, I mean, it, it looks, I don't want to say it looks out of place, but you know, I just, I don't like to do huge terrain modifications to the map. And so having like some of these little islands in the middle kind of create some uh, some cool, you know, lend themselves to some cool landscapes. So I thought we'd take this one that's actually pretty sizable compared to like the downtown here. And, you know, maybe we can actually do something with it. So uh, I thought this, you know, would also take like a whole episode as opposed to just throwing it at the end of the ferry one. Because, you know, I realized that it was taking a little bit longer to make the ferry lines and get all the detail work done. Um, you know, even though it was a small amount of detail, but still, still, uh, still takes a minute. But yeah, this is this is going to be just brand new, uh, lends itself to its own episode. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So before we actually start the build here, I just want to take a moment. This is my uh, friendly reminder to subscribe if you like this video or I know we haven't really gotten into it yet. But if you like any of the other videos, if you've seen any of them and you want to follow along with the series, uh, I'd say we're about, you know, we're almost about halfway through. Um, probably not a ton of episodes left, but still uh, plenty to do in this city. Plenty of forms of public transport to add and plenty of ways for me to just mess everything up. So uh, yeah, stay tuned if you want to see any of that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're going to start uh, pretty, pretty simple here. Um, we're going to start obviously with probably a little bit of an industrial part of the city. So the, with, I call it the city, you know, I mean, this is, this is kind of obviously all oh, this is the city, but this is sort of its own little kind of mini self-sufficient city and i think it's going to be really cool to build something like this and so the the hard part about this is going to be kind of getting in all of the necessary infrastructure you know i mean we do need power we do need water we also need uh garbage services um since we're probably not going to be able to have a super efficient way to get garbage trucks to and from we're going to have to have you know its own kind of quote unquote in-house garbage services we're going to have to get some uh some uh, police and fire and medical in here probably some education as well education not maybe not you know so much though because people can actually travel probably across the bay via the ferry for that but it wouldn't help to or it wouldn't it would help it would not hurt to build like an elementary school or something at least down here and um yeah other than that i think it's going to be pretty high density so let's uh go ahead and get started with sort of the ferry terminal so i think w with this being you know it, I'm, I'm debating whether or not to put one or two ferry lines uh, like either a ferry pier. I feel like I kind of want to put this because it looks a little bit more like it would fit in something like this kind of being a bigger a bigger island. I think it would help to maybe have a little bit more access. So we're going to put that down for now and then we will go ahead and lay out some of the roads around this area which I expect to be a little bit more industrial than anything and I do kind of want to keep I would like to have uh, a little bit of a park area here. So um, a little bit of, you know, some pathways and things. So I don't want to bring this road directly up to the end, at least for this part of it. This part, though, I imagine there would be a little bit more, a little bit more uh, going on here. Probably some industry, as I've said, and maybe this is where we'll put uh, where we will put our recycling center and then we'll have some sort of commercial district here. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a good start for now. Let me go ahead and upgrade this. And I do like the look of this of this ferry pier too because it gives that little kind of a that old not necessarily super old but that little bit of a more industrial look kind of like it was a you know some kind of pier back in the day and you know it could have been like some kind of fishing pier or something so uh, and it has since been converted into a form of public transport let's just uh, you know kind of like keeping that keeping that in mind when I'm building stuff like this but yeah actually I don't put these roads down here, but I totally forgot that I actually want to make this pretty much a pedestrian area. I don't really want to have a ton of roads 
maybe other than I'll do one more block just for uh, maybe some city services. But other than that, I really want to keep all of the residential uh, pretty pedestrian friendly. So I'm going to keep that in mind. But for now, let's go ahead and set up some city services here. So I do think we're going to need to put down a recycling center because that'll be the only way to probably get uh, garbage services on this island. So I do want to go ahead and put down one of these. And I know that they pollute and they're noisy, but you know, we kind of got to work with what we got here. So we're just going to leave that there. The second thing that I want to do is add some power. And so power, instead of just dragging power lines or something across the bay, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I want to, I have this, this is a mod. It's a little asset, this transformer, which is actually functional and it does produce 10 megawatts of power. And what's nice about this is that it's really, really small. And so it can fit kind of anywhere. And so we can imagine, you know, that in an ideal world, obviously power probably would have been run underneath the bay via some, you know, larger cable. Uh, and, you know, we actually don't need to have a whole entire power supply on this island. But since I don't really have a way of doing that in the game, this is kind of the, kind of the, uh, the next best option. And I, I don't want to put this in the water either. So I think we'll just have a couple of these little boxes kind of in between around this industrial area here just to uh, add some power to the island there's actually a vanilla industrial asset that i sometimes like to use for things like this there are these little kind of kind of power terminals or, or transformer stations here i think these look you know pretty good for for something like this and kind of we can kind of build a little uh Sort of a little power substation that will fit in quite nicely. There we go, that's a little bit better. A little more realistic looking power station there. So I can go ahead and probably just zone some industry here. I think that would be pretty good. But actually we'll hold off on the zoning for now until we get the rest of the of the uh, of the island kind of laid out here. So I think we got our garbage, we have that. In terms of water, we could put down, I think we'll put down a pumping station, but I also just wanna connect this to the grid just so we, you know, it actually, just so it's not wasted. I feel like it's it's hard to keep track of your city when you have, you know, separate water and power grids for different areas. It's something that, you know, doesn't really make it too intuitive to, to build that way. So we're kind of just gonna keep them together for right now. But pretend that they're different. All right, so now I want to go ahead and add some of the pedestrian roads. And I think for this, I'm not quite sure we'll be able to have any buses or anything. So I think that we're just going to leave it as uh, some, some regular roads. Maybe we could use one of these larger roads for the middle. But yeah, there's definitely not going to be a bus network or anything here, just given the, uh, given the, the difficulty with transporting buses to and from the island. But what we will do is like I said, have one of these main sort of arterial roads going through the middle. And I like, uh, this is kind of bright. I kind of like this, uh, this sandstone, this cobblestone I actually haven't used yet. Yeah, so let's, let's use this. Yeah, let's use this one. Cobblestone will be very, very nice in this area. This will be kind of our main strip here. And then we can have some different houses branching off of this road here Just to see what we got let's go ahead and drag some of these out So yeah, so as you can tell, I kind of, you know, it's mainly a grid, but I did want to mix it up and kind of add in some different different angles and such here to make it not look so uh, plain, I guess. 
See, this is a good start for now. And then we can go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add our, uh, our fire services. And for this one, I actually have this very small fire station here. That is, uh, it's actually the SimCity 4 fire station and I love it. So I'm thinking about putting that, that here, that'll give us uh, plenty of coverage for this, for this island. Same thing with the police station. I know we have this small police station that will look perfect here, but there's actually, I believe, there is a historical police station somewhere in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Yes, there is. And there's this Korean one too, but this one is a little bit bigger, I think. Actually, no, it's not. That one might fit us uh, here pretty, pretty good as well. We don't need the high capacity, but this one might not be too bad. And we also have a police box, Railroads of Japan. Oh, except this one doesn't have any, uh, actually doesn't have any police cars in it. So that will not really help us, but um, this one might be okay. I think this one's kind of, kind of cool, kind of modern. It, it'll probably fit uh, what we, what we kind of got going on here. So I'm actually going to add this one in. I, I haven't, I haven't seen this one yet. And that just got me thinking, I kind of was curious about if we had an, some additional fire stations that I was unaware of too. And it looks like we do have this historical one and this fire safety center from the, uh, the, uh, the Korean buildings pack. And I kind of want to use, I really like this historical fire station. I think it's, you know, it kind of fits the whole, uh, seaside vibe that we're going for. Just very, uh, very cool. Kind of pays homage to this being maybe an older, an older area with some history of kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know what purpose it would have served back in the day, but most likely this island has been around for a long time and has since been kind of redeveloped to something a little bit more modern, but still with a little historical touch. I always like when those two things kind of come together. So we're going to leave that for now. And so I definitely thought that this was worthy of a school and it just reminded me that I actually need to make this a pedestrian area. All right, so now we need to put down one of our service areas for the pedestrian area since we haven't done that yet. And I think for this one, just one of the small service points should be sufficient. And if not, then we will come back and revisit that later. But I think this is, this is gonna work quite nicely for now. Another thing I forgot is uh, is any kind of medical facility. So let's go ahead and see if we have anything else that we can maybe use in lieu of the regular vanilla assets. It looks like we do, but I think a few of them are too big for kind of what we're going for on this island. So I think we're just gonna use a small clinic. I think that will work out perfectly in this area. Also, if you notice, that is the uh, the SimCity 4 clinic. Had to throw that in there for the for the fun of it. I always love these uh, these old buildings. I forget who made them, but you know, shout out to the modder that actually uh, took the time to do this because I think it's really cool. But it also looks like we need a. I guess we could use a water pumping station, even though we don't necessarily need one. And hopefully, this won't be impacted. I got to see the pollution radius of this recycling center later. So maybe we'll hold off. We'll uh, hold off on that one for now, since we can't place it on a pedestrian road anyway. Uh, we might just say, forget that for now, but, and, uh, figure that out later. But, um, anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start zoning out our pedestrian area. And so what I want to keep in mind is that, you know, I actually wanted to use, instead of the wall to wall buildings, like we used in this pedestrian area over here, I'd actually prefer to use some of the, oh, and I don't know why these actually aren't the wall to wall buildings anymore. That is very strange. Maybe I forgot to delete those or something earlier, but that's a little bit weird that they're not a, that these are not wall to wall buildings anymore. Maybe the wall to walls don't have any level level fives. No, that's a level five. Huh? I don't know. That's a little weird. Maybe I'll uh, delete and you know, I might, I might just go ahead and do that. I might just go ahead and demolish these for now. Let them rezone into uh, buildings that we actually want because that is very strange why that is not happening. Right, anyway, so back to this area. Yeah, I don't want to use the wall to wall. I actually want to use the um, the eco buildings for this district. I think that would be pretty suitable for this. So you have commercial wall to wall, office wall to wall, but eco residential. And I'm curious to how this is going to turn out. 
let's go ahead and get this zone. I'm going to put the game on pause just so that we don't get any complaints of, uh, you know, people not being able to access this island or anything. Um, so not that that is a complaint in the game, but I don't know. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see in a minute, but, uh, yeah, I'll probably add a park here next to the school. And actually, you know what, before we zone, let me add the parks in first because I want to, I don't want to delete any development once we get this all ready to go. And so I really like this flower plaza. It's not insanely huge. I think it looks really good. So we'll put that kind of by the front as a nice little centerpiece for the city. And then I'm sure there are some more parks we could put down here. This, these fountain plazas are really cool. Little ice cream stand doesn't hurt. And actually these food trucks I think are really, really cool too. So we'll put that by the school so that people can get, you know, maybe people can stop for lunch here. This is like a cool little spot to be in. So I'm going to leave that like that for now. And I kind of like the way that's turning out. So now we can actually go ahead and do some, uh, do some proper zoning of some of these areas. And I think I would like to add in some, a few office zones here as well, since we kind of don't have a ton of those in the city yet. So nice little mix of office and commercial. I think that'll look really good. And now the rest of this is pretty much going to be residential. I think people can have some really cool houses by the, uh, on the coast, nice view of the coast. And then here, I want to make this like a little, a little bit of an open area. It's probably connected up with some pathways. And I'm going to do this actually along all of the, uh, uh quite a few of the roads here, making these pathway connections to the key so that people can actually walk on, uh, on it. Now what I would like to do is go ahead and choose some of the trees that are going to sit over here. I think this is going to be a great opportunity to get some of this uh, looking pretty good. So let me just take a second and kind of do some landscape around this area make it look really, really nice. That's a good starting point for now. We'll, we'll leave it like this. And um, before we press play, I want to go and actually set up some of the ferry lines so that we can have some connection before we actually uh, have people start moving in. Oh, I actually just realized this will not work because those buildings were not in the theme. So actually, let's just, instead, let's uh, actually just use this one because I think these look like they could be some sort of substation as well. So let's go ahead and make these historical as they already are. And uh, we'll uh, keep these like here for now. All right. And so in terms of ferry lines, I think I'm going to have generally two lines instead of having one giant loop. I think actually I might have even more than two. We're going to we're going to see here for a second. But I think the first one that I want to do is uh, have one come up along this coast here. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it actually got to move the pathway first. I almost forgot. Okay, so I know this is probably not the best way to do this as of right now, but we had to start somewhere. So at least all of the ferry stops are connected and the ferry pathways are two way, which is nice. So I actually probably don't even need 
that there. But essentially, I think this line, this pathway here is probably not going to get much use. I think I might just delete it because this is such a long. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. That is such a long distance to travel. Well, actually, maybe not. You know, I mean, people, you never know if people actually might make use of, of that line. So I think we're going to leave it for now. But what what we are going to do now is make some lines. And I think I'm a little bit curious about how I want to connect some of these up. But I think the best way to do it is just kind of go for it here since I've never really done too much with fairies before. I think it'll help to, you know, just kind of kind of get started and see what happens. So let's go ahead and start. The first line that I want to make is just kind of all the way along this coast here. So let's start at the the main depot. We'll add a stop at the harbor. Then we'll add a stop at this line up here. And then finally, we'll bring it up to there. And I think that will be the first line. So now we'll just kind of bring it back. Then end it there at the main spot. So we'll do that for now. The next line that I want to do is actually, I want to bring one just to here and back. And I think that'll be all right, given that this will be kind of the main transport. And actually, you know what? Let's not, let's actually add stop. There we go. So yeah, so we're going to have a line that actually connects these three up. So people can kind of come across the bay and access this island as well. And then from here, I would like to do just uh, from from these two steps, I would like to do just one line from here to here and then back to here. Rejoice and be fairy. Beautiful. <laughs> As you can tell, I've never actually uh, done fairies in this game. So <laughs> good. All right, cool. And then so we'll have that. And then the last line that I want to make is just a probably I assume this is not going to get much use, but just a nice scenic ferry line kind of across this this coast this older part of the city mainly if you just don't want to sit in traffic you could take this line here so now that we have all these hooked up i want to go ahead and look at some of the options that we have for boats since we actually do have quite a few um options now with some of the new dlcs that came out so first i do want to go ahead and name all these real quick so i'm just gonna for my own sanity so i know actually which one is which all right, so we have our line set up, named, and now let's go ahead and decide on what boats we actually want to use. So for this, for the main line, this this downtown coastline that kind of spans all the way from Cozy Square, and I didn't name like any of these, so <laughs> pardon me if they're a little strange, but uh, all the way from Cozy Square to a Strawberry Square. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, so this one, I think this might be a, a pretty high capacity line. Uh, I kind of like, you know, some of these, some of these cooler ones. I'm not sure how much use they're gonna get, but um, maybe this, uh, maybe this 40 capacity one might be good for that, since it's a little bit longer of a line. And then for the Bay Express, this one is just gonna be two stops, just here to here. This one we're actually just gonna have this little one with the 10 person ferry. I think that'll be plenty. The old coastline again. This one I, sh I assume is not gonna see a lot of use. But it might, you know, it's a little bit of a longer line. So I think we'll put the 20 person ferry for that one. And then Bedford Island, I'd imagine we'll get a little bit more use. So we're going to try the, uh, the 30 person ferry for that one. I like, you know, kind of using all of the different different kinds here and seeing what, um, what, which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. All right, so now I'm actually going to press play and we can zone out. Well, I actually already did zone out the rest of these. So uh, let's just go ahead and watch this develop. And so while this kind of builds up, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our ferries and see what we got going on here. So yeah, so this one is pretty cool because it can actually cross under all of the very low bridges, even though I don't think it's actually going underneath any of them. Uh, so so much for that but it'll work and then let's see we have a couple of the larger ones here yeah this this will be pretty good for our 
our big line kind of along the coast. I think that'll be uh, quite quite the uh, the best move for uh, for that line to have some of those hard capacity ones. And yeah, we actually have a lot of these going on. I don't think we even need that many of these. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, probably set the set the budget since uh, this this one's pretty crowded. But I think we don't need five. Maybe four might be a little bit better. L let's do that for now. And then this one, which line is this? This is our coastline. Oh, so this one's actually getting a little bit of a little bit of use. There are some people that are actually wanting to use this line. So we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll probably leave it at three for now. I think that's a good number, especially since it's a, a little bit of a longer longer line between you know between stops. That should be fine. This one though, out of mat. Oh wow. Yeah, there's a lot of people wanting to use this this one. So actually, we're gonna switch this to be one of the uh, one of the high capacity ferries, and we're actually gonna use these two of these. Since there's a, actually we can even go with three, since there's so many people that want to use this. I mean, look at this, 132 people at this stop. Oh my goodness. Yeah, people just want to get across the bay. It seems so. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll use that for now. Yeah, it also seems like a lot of people here also want to use the the ferry to get across the coast along the coast here so yeah this is actually a pretty a uh, pretty popular form of public transport definitely more popular than i would have thought given that you know it's kind of slow it's a little bit inefficient and uh this guy's about to hit that boat oh just missed him good but um yeah so we'll it's, it'll be kind of cool to see our ferries kind of zooming around here uh, i've never actually used them too much and oh my, oh my goodness, where's this coming from? Oh wow, there are a lot of people that want to use this line as well. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to get some more people in here too. I mean, that, that's that, that's crazy. Look at this, 235 people waiting for the ferry. We are gonna bump this up a little bit, use some more boats to get people where they need to go. I think we're gonna have to figure out something else too. And again, I guess this is the only form of public transport that we have right now besides cars to get people to and from the other side. So something to think about uh, once we add some buses, hopefully that'll uh, that, that'll change some of this. Um, you know, we'll be able to bring people in in uh, bigger quantities and probably much faster than using the ferries. But for now, I think it's kind of a cool, cool option. You know, something a little bit different. Uh, I always like, you know, kind of having a busier water uh, waterway here in the bay. It'll look really, really nice. And this is actually going to be of cool i think you know once it gets all uh all built up and such so i think that's a good spot to call it for today thank you guys so much for watching and i really appreciate you know you stick around especially for this episode i know it's a little bit different but um stay tuned for some more public transit oriented episodes and we still have a lot to go but we're getting there so hope you all have a great week take care and i will talk to you guys in the next episode Peace.